error code 2107-0114. We have a Nintendo Switch that is having problems with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. The weird thing about it is it works fine until it goes into sleep mode while using an internet-enabled application, and then it throws the error message and it won't connect anymore. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to tear this open, and we're going to find out what's wrong. So what's actually pretty amazing is that this might be the cleanest Nintendo Switch I've ever seen, which just goes to show that defects can happen even if you take really good care of your stuff. Anyway, uh, the area which we're working on is under the EMMC, and this just pops off, and this is the Wi-Fi chip. Okay, we're going to start by heating from underneath at 350 degrees. And I'm going to put some flux down in here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to reflow this. And if it doesn't solve the problem, then we'll replace the chip altogether. The way that you go about reflowing is by heating and putting the flux in. And essentially, uh, you heat until the solder is melted. And the way that you check for that is with very light little taps on the chip. Uh, if you tap it and it doesn't move, then the solder is not melted yet. Um, what you want to do is you want to tap it and have it kind of shift, but then shift back into place. Uh, the surface tension of the solder balls should put this thing into its proper position. So let's give this another tap. Ah, you see that? I tapped it out of position, and then it went back into its position, and that's how you know that all the solder properly flowed underneath. Now I'm going to put it back together and test it. Reflow was a success. Uh, we got it put back together, did the internet connection test, went to the eShop, let it go into sleep mode both times, and when it came back, uh, when I turned it back on, the Wi-Fi still worked and the wireless controller still worked. So it was a success. If it's not a success for you, then you need to remove the Wi-Fi chip and reball it or replace it uh, to go that avenue. But I think since that's a big time suck and kind of a pain in the butt, it's worth trying to just reflow it first and see if that solves your problem. All right, thanks for tuning in. If you like the content, hit the like button, drop a comment, and definitely subscribe because I need more subscribers. Appreciate you.